and the impact you feel Iyengar yoga can have on an experienced practitioner? Who's not in that particular method? Yes. Um, a lot of methods don't have that focus on alignment and on precision of movement. And when you work that way, um, if, particularly if you're not used to it, uh, I, I, my own experience in teaching folks from other traditions is that uh, there is, just f as with, with myself, as I described earlier, uh, uh, an, an awakening of um, a much deeper and more powerful uh, possible experience in uh, practicing the asanas. That they aren't just physical movements, they're not just exercises, but that they are gateways um, to uh, a really deep understanding of your own nature, uh, your own psychology, and deep, more deeply than that, your own spiritual nature. And you begin to encounter that um, through this really intense focus on um, the precision of the, of the asanas. And um, another thing that happens is uh, I find that uh, students who aren't used to working that way um, light up when they find that just these subtle adjustments in the poses can open up um, physical um, aspects of the poses that have never occurred to them, that they've never been able to touch before. And when you open yourself up physically, you're also opening yourself up energetically. We're energy beings as well as just physical beings. Uh, and there's a direct relationship between what goes on in our body and what goes on energetically. Uh, so that um, lots of teachers in many traditions talk about the flow of energy in the body, but it wasn't until I opened my body up through the practice of Iyengar Yoga that I really felt a palpable um, uh, change in how the energy in my body moved and how uh, that intensified for me and how exhilarating and uplifting that experience was.